welcome to my channel to fix the issue first of all the first step is to rename or delete this file now for this you can open spotlight and in the search over here type in library preferences and then click on this preference folder and over here find this com.apple.windowsserver.display.list this file you can rename this file or you can delete it so if you want to delete it you can just move to bin and then you have to empty the bin and if you want to rename it you can simply rename it so rename it to whatever you want now once you rename it enter your mac password over here pin or password and once it is renamed so i have renamed it yeah so here you can see it's renamed and then once this is done you can shut down your mac shut down and once the computer uh, your computer is shut down now restart mac and then you can check if that does not work you can simply delete this move to bin and then you can go to bin and then make a right click and then empty bin and then again shut down your mac shut down do not restart shut down and then restart mac, restart the mac and then check now if this is not working the next step is to change the refresh rate of monitor to if you're using one like 144 hertz or 140 hertz you can set it to 120 hertz uh, if you're uh, if the monitor is at 120 hertz you can switch to 60 hertz or maybe 50 hertz or 30 hertz this has worked for many uh, users so it might work for you so you can open uh, system settings go to display and you can select your monitor and then at the bottom in my case i don't see the refresh option if you see the refresh rate option you can switch uh, like if you're using 144 then switch to 120 or 60 50 or 30 hertz and check which one is working fine for you next step is to power off monitor and then power on simply power off your monitor and then turn it on and then check next step is to restart mac with main monitor plugged unplugged you have to unplug the main monitor restart the back and then once the mac is up and running then plug in again next step is to power on monitor with its own power supply and then connect the hdmi or USB C cable and then you can check and the next step is to try hdmi to hdmi instead of USB C to USB C. so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the external display working so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel